Good afternoon. Jeremy Corbyn is the new Labour Party leader, easily winning with an overwhelming majority of votes. The left-wing former outsider who needed nominations from MPs opposed to his views just to get on the ballot paper received almost 60% of the vote. In his acceptance speech, he said the campaign showed Labour was passionate, democratic, diverse, united and absolutely determined to build a decent and better society for all. This is how the result was announced a short while ago. Jeremy Corbyn, 251,000. <laughs> So this is how the voting broke down. Jeremy Corbyn was the clear victor, winning in the first round with 59.5% of the vote. Andy Burnham got 19%, Yvette Cooper 17% and Liz Kendall 4.5%. Uh, let's get some reaction from our political correspondent Romilly Weeks now. Uh, Romilly, Mr Corbyn's victory was predicted, but the scale of that victory is still a shock, isn't it? Yes, in the end, it wasn't even close. Jeremy Corbyn, the man who only scraped it onto the ballot paper, the man who's been an MP for 32 years without holding any front bench post, is the new Labour leader, leaving his closest rival, Andy Burnham, absolutely trailing. So Labour now enters a new phase in its history with a leader whose priorities are far more left-wing than leaders in recent history. Let's hear what he had to say about the campaign. It showed our party and our movement passionate, democratic, diverse, united and absolutely determined in our quest for a decent and better society that is possible for all. Jeremy Corbyn's career up to date has been as a serial rebel against previous Labour leaders. Now he is the leader of Her Majesty's opposition himself. He has to carry forward the hopes of the Labour Party, a newly energised Labour Party, certainly, but one that is also deeply polarised. Romilly, for now, thank you very much. A reminder then that Jeremy Corbyn is the clear victor in the Labour leadership election.